in March 2003. FBI arrested 44 years old Andrew Carlson. The newspaper reported this man was extraordinarily lucky. In the history of the stock market, he had earned like no other. He invested $800 and within two weeks it turned $350 million. The FBI suspected that he was running a scam. A mysterious incident emerges from doubt. All the FBI members were surprised to hear his answer. He answered that he was a time traveler. He claimed that he was a traveler from 250 years in the future and that he knew the stocks would perform, so he invested in them. The FBI surprised at that. They took it upon themselves to prove that he was lying. When they investigated some more, they found that before 2002, there was no record of Carlson. Even more surprising was that on April 3, Carlson had to appear in court for his bail hearing, but suddenly, he disappeared and was never to be found. Was he really a time traveler? Is time travel possible? In today's video, let's unveiling the concept of time travel. Time travel is the hypothetical activity of traveling into the past or future. Time travel is a widely recognized concept in philosophy and fiction, particularly science fiction. In fiction, time travel is typically achieved through the use of a hypothetical device known as a time machine. A common theme in science fiction media, time travel is captivating. It's defined by the late philosopher David Lewis in his essay The Paradoxes of Time Travel as a discrepancy between time and space-time. Any traveler departs and then arrives at his destination. The time elapsed from departure to arrival is the duration of the journey. Time travel is usually understood by most as going back to a bygone era or jumping forward to a point in the future. But how much of the idea is based in reality? More than 100 years ago, Albert Einstein came up with an idea about how time work. He called it relativity. This theory says that time and space are kinked together. Einstein also said our universe limit. Nothing can travel faster than the limit of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. Well, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. According to NASA, time travel is possible, just not in the way you might expect. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity says time and motion are relative to each other. Time travel happens through what's called time dilation. According to life science, time dilation is how one's perception of time is different to another, depending on their motion or where they are. Hence, time being relative. In 2009, the British physicist Stephen Hawking held a party for time travelers. The twist was he sent out the invites a year later. Time travel is probably impossible, even if it were possible. Hawking and others have argued that you could never travel back before the moment your time machine was built. We are all time travelers as we are swept along in the card of time, from past to future, at a rate of one hour per hour. As with the river, the card flows at different speeds in different places. Science as we know it allows for several methods to take the fast track into the future. Time travel by speed. This is the easiest and most practical way to time travel into the far future, go really fast. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, when you travel at speeds approaching the speed of light, time slows down for you relative to the outside world. This is not a just a conjecture or thought experiment, it's been measured. Using twin atomic clocks, one flown in a jet aircraft, the other stationary on Earth. Physicists have shown that a flying clock ticks slower because of its speed. In the case of the aircraft, the effect is minuscule. But if you were in a spaceship traveling at 90% of the speed of light, you'd experience time passing about 2.6 times slower than it was back on Earth. Time travel by gravity. The next method of time travel is also inspired by Einstein. According to his theory of general relativity, the stronger the gravity you feel, the slower time moves. 
As you get closer to the center of the Earth, for example, the strength of gravity increases. Time runs slower for your feet than your head. To travel to the far future, all we need is a region of extremely strong gravity, such as a black hole. The closer you get to the event horizon, the slower time moves, but it's risky business. Cross the boundary, and you can never escape. Time travel by wormholes. General relativity also allows for the possibility for shortcuts through space-time, known as wormholes, which might be able to bridge distances of a billion light years or more, or different points in time. Many physicists, including Stephen Hawking, believe wormholes are constantly popping in and out of existence at the quantum scale, far smaller than atoms. The trick would be to capture one and inflate it to human scales a feat that would require a huge amount of energy, but which might just be possible, in theory. Attempts to prove this either way have failed, ultimately because of the incompatibility between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Variation is known as the grandfather paradox in which a time traveler kills their own grandfather, in the process preventing the time traveler's birth. The grandfather paradox basically describes the following situation. For some reason or another, you have decided to go back in time and kill your grandfather in his youth. So your grandmother will never give birth to your parent and therefore you will never be born, which means that you cannot kill your grandfather. This is quite a contradiction. There is a possible solution to this paradox, but it cancels out free will. Our time traveler can only do what has already been done. So don't worry, everything you did in the past has already happened. So it's impossible for you to call grandpa or create any sort of a contradiction in any other way. Another solution is that the time traveler's actions led to a splitting of the universe into two universes, one in which the time traveler was born and the other in which he murdered his grandfather and was not born. Imagine you were placed in a spaceship that can travel at the speed of light and you set out on a journey across space. But when you come to Earth, you will find that many years have passed where to you it seems like only a short time. But the question arises, can people move at a speed equal to or faster than the speed of light? Until today, no one has been found to travel at or faster than the speed of light with his physical body. It is hoped that one day it may be possible, 